Please take a seat. A very good afternoon to you all. My name is Dylan <coughs> and my colleague Tracy will be registering the marriage this afternoon. On behalf of Simon and Kate, I would like to welcome you all here to Hensel Castle. It means a great deal to them that you can be here to share in their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are here to witness the joining in matrimony of Simon John Denny and Kate Elizabeth Leach. If there is any person present who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they must declare it now. Before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to take. Marriage in this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care and support each other through all the joys and sorrows of life and that love may be fulfilled in a relationship of permanent and continuing commitment. We trust that these things may come true for you both. A happy and successful marriage must be created. It calls for honesty, patience, and sometimes a little bit of humour. It means loving your partner as they are and for what they are, and remembering to show love and affection. Add trust, understanding and encouragement, and you have the basis for a very good marriage. It is never been too old to hold hands, 
It is remembering to say, I love you. It is not only marrying the right person, it is also being the right partner. And today you are to become the right partners. I'd now like to ask Susan to step forward and give a reading, please. <coughs> Um, I'd just like to say two verses to my son and my new daughter-in-law. Uh, to my son, first of all, while you were just a small boy, I held your little hand. I answered all the many questions of sky, sea and land. I kissed away your hurts as only a mother can. I gladly accepted each cherished hug with small <coughs> arms holding tight. For I knew the time drew nearer. With every passing night, you're no longer my little boy. Instead, you are a man, but, I'm always, but I'll always hold you in my heart, though I no longer hold your hand. And now to my dear daughter-in-law. I hope you know what you mean to me, even though at first I had no idea how precious you would be. Sorry. Um, and now I see, as time goes by, in those special needs in life, that only you could be the one, my son's own beautiful wife. This man, my little boy, I'm so very thankful, and my heart is filled with joy, as the love you have for one another blossoms, blooms and grows. I see a beautiful flower, flower garden, and you the perfect rose. Right. Like I didn't heckle you. Thank you. I now ask you both if you freely undertake the obligations of marriage and to state that there is no legal reason why you should not be joined in matrimony. So Simon, would you please reply with the words I am to the following question. Are you Simon John Denny free lawfully to marry? Kate Elizabeth Leach. I am. And are you, Kate Elizabeth Leach, free lawfully to marry Simon John Denny? I am. Thank you. Simon and Kate wish to marry each other for in each other's company they have found fulfilment and love. As a consequence of this love they have drawn closer to each other and now wish to publicly affirm their relationship and to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Please answer with I do. Simon, do you willingly commit yourself in marriage to Kate? I do. And Kate, do you willingly commit yourself in marriage to Simon? I do. Thank you both. The moment has now come for Simon and Kate to marry before you their witnesses. Would you all please stand? Phoebe, would you take the flowers, please? Thank you. Would you like to face one another and talk back? And Simon, please repeat after me. I, Simon John Denny. I, Simon John Denny. Take you, Kate Elizabeth Leach. Take you, Kate Elizabeth Leach. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to tenderly love you. I promise to tenderly love you. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. To walk with you. To walk with you. In sorrow. In sorrow. Joy. Joy. Illness and age. Illness and age. Facing life together. Facing life together. Wherever it may take us. Wherever it may take us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please. I, Kate Elizabeth Leach. I, Kate Elizabeth Leach. Take you, Simon John Denny. Take you, Simon John Denny. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to tenderly love you. I promise to tenderly love you. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. 
to laugh with you, to laugh with you, and cry with you, to walk with you, to walk with you, in sorrow, in sorrow, joy, joy, illness and age, illness and age, facing life together, facing life together, wherever it may take us, wherever it may take us. <coughs> we now come to the exchange of rings. The wedding ring is the ancient and traditional way of sealing the contract you have just made. It is an unbroken circle which symbolises an ending love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promise that you have made to each other. And repeat. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. I give this ring as a symbol of our marriage. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. For the whole of our life together. For the whole of our life together. I push the ring up for you. And now we're going to pass that. Pass the other thing from the left hand. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. For the whole of our lives together. For the whole of our lives together. Push me next to the phone. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you discover someone who stands beside you, not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are, and not for who you could be. Once in a lifetime, you find someone as you have found each other. Simon and Kate, you have sealed your marriage vows with the giving and receiving of rings. We who are present and others who are absent hope that the inspiration of this day will never be forgotten. May you continue to love one another and may the strength of your love help you to realise success in your future life together. I am delighted to tell you that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> Take a seat, ladies and gentlemen. Our newlyweds will now sign the register. And if you could please ask, no photographs or recordings to be taken during the signing. Thank you. The love is a friendship set on fire. It's trusting, sharing, and forgiving. Your love is loyal through good times and bad. It settles for nothing less than perfection. It is content for the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. You are lucky to have found one another, and when you meet that special person, you decide whether your roots have become so intertwined together that it is inevitable that you should ever be apart. It is clear that you have found your special person in one another and can't live without each other. Today we have had the pleasure of witnessing your roots combine and we hope that your love continues to grow in this new chapter of your lives. And we wish you more happiness, laughter and health always. Simon and Kate, this day will be one of the most special in your lives. You will look back upon it with love and happiness as the start of a new phase in your life together. We hope that the feeling of love that you have for each other will deepen and strengthen throughout the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of the day. Would you all please stand? We are delighted to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Terry.
never find another lover more precious than you, more precious than you, the girl you are. Close to me, you like my mother. Close to me, you like my father. Close to me, you like my sister. Close to me, you like my brother. You are the only one in my everything, and for you the song I sing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Not in Welsh. Those who uh, don't know me, uh, I'm Dave, father of Kate. Uh, oh, you okay? Uh, I'd like to begin by welcoming you all and uh, thank you for coming to this very special occasion to celebrate the marriage of my beautiful daughter Kate to Simon. Uh, we know that many of you have made long journeys to be here today, and we all hope that you have a great time in these wonderful surroundings. Yep. I'd like to start by extending a very warm welcome on behalf of my wife, Amanda, and myself to the parents of the groom, Stephen Sue. I'd also like to thank everyone who has helped in the lead up to this wedding, in whatever way possible, big or small. You've all <coughs> made a your part to make this day very special. A wedding, as you know, is a celebration of two people making a commitment to each other surrounded by their family and friends. It's also a time you wished that all those you ever loved could have witnessed this very happy occasion. So on a slightly sadder note, but with happy memories, it's worth remembering your family and friends who are no longer with us and could not be here to celebrate the wedding of Kate and Simon. Especially Amanda's mother, Dot, my mother, Ruth, and her brother-in-law, Alan, who are in our thoughts that we wish they could have been here today. Uh, so before I get the main toast, can you ask you all please stand and drink a toast to absent friends and family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my toast is to absent friends and family. To absent friends and family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to give a huge uh, thank you to the bridesmaid, the fly girls and the uh, page boy, Harrison. Very good job. <laughs> Okay. 
So the uh, the bridesmaid shared a house with uh, Kate during a time at uh, Swansea University. So they, uh, they gained VIP entry to all the uh, the nightclubs in Swansea, <laughs> and uh, and helped organise the annual carnage event. Yeah. <laughs> the carnage event is like uh, like a club crawl, but for uh, students. <laughs> yeah. So, to the other students at Swansea University, they're known as Team Tan. AKA yeah. yeah. the Pony Club. Yeah. <laughs> in recent years, they've been topping up their tan and sharing adventures in Australia. Yeah. Simon, a bit more effort, and I'm sure they'll let you join the team. Yeah. <laughs> Sign okay. on the bottle. Amanda, Amanda and I must also give a, a big thank you to Gary the best man. You've done the hardest part, Gary. He's done nothing. You've got Simon for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> done absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. So every father knows that one day their children will find a partner and fly the nest. You worry about that day. Now that day's arrived, no longer am I worried because Kate has found and chosen her partner for life. Yeah? Okay, and if I, if I try and put emotions into words, I cannot express how I am the proudest father in the world today. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. See my daughter all, <laughs> see my daughter all grown up, and uh, looking so beautiful and happy and radiant. It's such an amazing sight. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so on this day, well, this month, 29 years ago, Kate was born, yeah? At that moment, I felt the uh, luckiest man alive. Already had a, uh, a handsome young man, Ooh. and uh, joined by now a gorgeous young, gorgeous young lady, yeah? Gorgeous, sir. Gorgeous, sir, yeah. So, <laughs> when she was young, Kate was a, a very quiet, contented lady, uh, who grew into a timid child. True. I was. Yeah? We didn't like men that much. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I know. Yeah. I didn't. I was scared. Quite, quite scared of men. Quite scared of men. Yeah, to be honest. Uh, but when she started school, she uh, became a bit more outgoing and always surrounded herself with friends. And it always seemed that uh, our house was always, uh, always full. Uh, <coughs> I just want you to know how proud I am of uh, who you are and what you've become. Thank you. Yeah? As a child, you tried uh, many hobbies and made many achievements. Uh, at the age of four, Kate uh, achieved uh, 800 metres in swimming. And uh, later on, she uh, achieved a mile distance. Yeah? She, uh, she loved to dance and she went to complete that uh, national level. And, uh, you know, nights like down Blackpool Tower and the uh, various. Uh, Spearmint Island. Yeah. I've been late. I've been late. Spearmint Island. Spearmint Island. Okay. So, uh, she went on to achieve her GCSEs <laughs> and uh, A levels and uh, gradually, eventually. <laughs> She uh, graduated from Swansea University. On, uh, on the day of the graduation, we uh, picked her up and went for the mail, and that's when she was offered her first job with Admiral. Yeah. So she accepted <coughs> on the, the day of her graduation. So she, she started off with Admiral for a year, and then she came home and announced that, uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo! So uh, Woo! Australia's where you wanted to go, uh, so, she's only going to go for three months initially, but uh, a year later she uh, eventually came home because she couldn't get a work permit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think she really uh, enjoyed being out in Australia and uh, we said, you know, if you want to go back out there again, you've got to fund your return. So we suggested... Stop that me. Huh? Stop me. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> yeah, so we suggested that for a, a while maybe she could live with her brother in walking, you know, for three months initially. And uh, 15 months later she was still there. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay, but uh, however, during this time, she uh, she came home one day and said out of the blue, there's this guy in work who's uh, really kind and helpful to us. Okay, I've no idea that is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we, we get on really well nice well and uh, we like the same things. Uh, we're so much alike and we've got the same sense of humour. I thought we like the same music and he likes white chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never, we said. And, uh, and Randy and I looked at each other and we thought, uh, another Kate, surely not. <laughs> okay, but uh, you could tell from the way she spoke about this guy that there was uh, something special there. And uh, when we met Simon for the first time, and uh, saw them together. We could see for ourselves how, how happy they were. Yeah. We asked Kate why he's so special, and she explained that uh, he makes me laugh. And uh, I think we can all agree that it's a good uh, foundation for building a happy marriage. Simon's so a lovely, kind guy who uh, spoils Kate immensely. We try to tell him he's got to stop. <laughs> I say no jokes sometimes, but he doesn't listen. Good. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there now. So, I know, come on. Uh, Run out of tissue. <laughs> Make a leap, right? I know. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, I'd like to uh, officially welcome Simon to our family. I know that uh, no, Kate no, and Simon no. will be very happy and forge a great life together. Yeah? Enjoy and remember this moment forever. Uh, you're amongst people today who love and care about you very much. Yeah, so finally I <laughs> would like to propose a toast to the happy couple. I know everyone will want to join me in raising your glasses and a toast to a very long, healthy and happy <coughs> future together. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and raise your glasses to the new bride and groom, <laughs> Kate and Simon. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble! Cheers, guys. No, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I was going to try and speak Welsh and say yaki da. <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. I did have a lot more than this, but every time I showed anyone my speech, everyone said, you can't put that in there. You're going to offend and upset a lot of people. <laughs> so, um, plus, you're looking forward to the best man's speech. So, uh, no pressure there, Gary. He's only had two years to do it, and he only finished it yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. Where's Oz? Oz? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Can you please remember Oz is part of the wedding party, he's not the Asian cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're all dancing and staggering across the dance floor, he's not your Uber or taxi. <laughs> and he's the only 37 year old I know who can't drive. <laughs> He's in the corner, by the way. <laughs> Lydia? Where's Lydia? I know you like a magpie. And I know you like shiny things. But I'll be checking your handbag at the end of the night because anything on the table we don't own and I want my deposit back. <laughs> so Scott, if you can check her bag for me, I'd be much appreciated. Bro. Charlie? Where's Charlie? Put your hand up, Charlie. Charlie's single, so please don't judge him by his hair. He nearly, he nearly died for that haircut and that look. Plus, he's still not happy because he didn't get the wish to go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> he had cancer. So single! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I told him not to and say that. Dave, Dave would kill me if I didn't mention this, but if anybody's looking for cheap gas, broadband, electricity, Dave can do you a great deal on the Twitter warehouse. He's got to pay for his wedding somehow, so he'll be at the bar with his iPad and his achy details. 
He did want to bring up his pop-up stand, but Kate wouldn't let him, so uh, <laughs> didn't want to ruin the pictures. Well done. Yeah. All jokes aside, all jokes aside, let's, taste the, let's have a toast to the father of the bride. Yes! Yeah. Say thank you. I want to say thank you for all coming to watch celebrate our beautiful wedding. I know some of you only came because no rugby on and you want to get out of the valleys. <laughs> and I know a few people are going missing the horse racing to be here, but James, I'm sure you can do one day without a gamble. <laughs> I also need to say thank you for letting Kate plan this amazing wedding while you're doing all the work. It, everything, in, everything here today is possible because of Kate and then James do pretty much do everything for about six months. So I'd like to raise a special toast to James or people. James. James. <laughs> I'd like to also say thank you for the rest of you who made it up last night today, today and last night as well. We all appreciate you being here to celebrate our happy day. So I'd like to raise a toast for everybody who's here today and have some friends who couldn't be here. I'd also like to say thank you for both my pa our parents. I'd like to say thank you for mum and dad for not getting involved in the wedding at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to say thank you for Dave and Amanda for getting very, very, very involved. <laughs> Hence, no Tom Jones impersonator, no magician, no ice cream cart. You get my drift. I wasn't allowed any input in this wedding. I had nothing. <laughs> but even to a point where Amanda was trying to pick my suit out because she wouldn't let me wear the flower. Well, the one wedding. that he chose was black and white flowers and he looked like Louis Spence. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was all right. <laughs> But on a serious note, I want to say thank you for both welcoming me and my baggage. That being Harrison and Betsy in two years. <laughs> Probably not what you want to your daughter, but I promise I'll do my best to make her happy. I make her smile every day. Just not in the mornings, because she's definitely not a morning person. <laughs> the most grumpiest person I've ever met. But I'm trying to work out. So I'd like to raise a toast to my parents and my new parents. On to the bridesmaids and flower girl. Don't worry, Betsy. You can be bridesmaids in my next wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you all look amazing. It's crazy the quality you can get out of Primark in these dresses. You, both look, you all look amazing. But thank you for the girls for arranging both hand parties. She said she had a fab time and she enjoyed herself. I'm just waiting for the third to say, I'm gonna have a third hen do because of the people that could make Wales or Marbella. <laughs> also, I'd like to say thank you for letting me be a team member of Team Tan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said I was. Am I not a member now? You said I was a member. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, just don't add me to the WhatsApp group anyway. So yeah. right. but I'd like to raise a toast to the bridesmaids and the flower girls. You look amazing. Let's talk about my best man. I would say thank you for arranging my stag do, but you did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Didn't even print out a boarding pass. I was even the last person to pay. <laughs> and if it wasn't for James, we would end up at Fountain Bowl and the Red Lion. So Give thanks, James. <laughs> so say thank you to my usher, Adam. I'd like to say, where is Adam? I'd like to say thank you for showing us your Bambi on walk on ice. <laughs> you were so drunk you couldn't even walk upright. <laughs> it was literally like this. I've never seen anyone walk like it in my life. I'll leave you for 10 minutes with Dan and come back to having face planted the pavement. <laughs> literally blood everywhere. All I, think, all I could think was, a man is going to kill me for not looking after a little soldier. <laughs> And as us all thinking Adam's the most central one, I need to find out that we give him the whip and he's lost it. <laughs> anyway, let's get him drunk again tonight and watch him on the dance floor for a repeat performance. <laughs> I'd like to raise a toast to my best man and my usher. Thank you.
<laughs> now, a few more, now a few words about my beautiful wife. You look amazing today. I know you always only, I always, I know I always just say you look a seven, but today you look a perfect twelve. <laughs> you took my breath away when you walked down the aisle. I tried so hard not to cry, but you know that was never going to happen. But these were happy tears, not the ones thinking, oh my God, what have I done again? <laughs> I feel like the luckiest man alive when I tell people you're my life, my wife's. Kate, Denny, I love you. Let's talk about Kate. So me and Kate went on a few dates, one being swimming. I thought, this is the best time to see what she looked like with my makeup on. <laughs> anyway, so we get out and I start to get dry and she comes over, starts drying me, wipe it, dry me down, trying to put my socks on. I'm thinking, well, these Welsh birds are like toy birds. <laughs> toy birds. <laughs> she, she, could, she could be a keeper. <laughs> since, since we've been together, she has come out with these classic one-liners, or I like to call them Kateisms. And I said, when we get married, I'll use them in my speech. So when it came, so when she comes out with these clangers, I'll put them on my notes on my iPhone. So I'd like to share with them, some of them with you today. I used to think, how bad were the schools in Wales? Or was she home tall? Oh. <laughs> anyway, these are just some of the best ones she's come out with. We went out for dinner, and she's picked up the menu, and I said, and she said, I know what you're going to have. I said, what's that then, babe? You're going to have the 100, ounce, the 100 Z steak. I'm thinking, I've been here a few times and I've never seen it on the menu. And I was like, well, show me what that is. It must be a special. It was a 10 ounce steak. She it was a 100 Z steak. We <laughs> <laughs> was watching one born every minute. She turns around to me, dead straight face, and says, has anybody ever given birth to a baby out of their bum? <laughs> and I said, that's how the brown ones are made. <laughs> I, said, I said to her, let's take Romeo to Little Hampton on the beach. He would love it, he'll run on the sand, he would love it. She said, will the beach have sea? I'd love to play in that. I don't know how we got onto this subject. Must have been talking about the mother-in-law or something. But it's about dinosaurs. <laughs> she said, how do they know they even existed? It's not like they've got them on CCTV walking around Cardiff, is it? The next day was a trip to the National History Museum. But Kate, you made me the man I am today. Might have cost me a few quid. Braces, teeth whitening, mole removal. I'm just glad I've still got my hair. Or oh, that would have been next on the appointment on the improvement list. But also, all jokes aside, Kate, I think I fell in love with you the moment I met you. You're the most amazing woman I've ever met. You're not just beautiful on the outside, you're also beautiful on the inside. You're sweet, caring and kind. You would do anything to help others. And I don't think you have a bad bone in your body. Kate Elizabeth Denny, I love you. And I always will. You're my whole life. And I will love you until my last breath. To my beautiful bride, Kate. Just before I pass over to Gary, um, there was a little, there was a slight mistake on the uh, invites and stuff that instead of finishing at 12, it actually finishes at 1. So if anyone's got cabs booked in or whatever, you might want to change them. If you want to, unless you want to go back at 12, but you want to change your cabs, it's still 1 o'clock, okay? But over to Gary. I'm still going at 12. You're still going at 12. <laughs> <laughs> Right, firstly let me introduce myself, actually no, I want you to show your appreciation today for the celebrities in the room, Jonas Hill on table three, <laughs> we've got Tom Hanks out of Castaway on table seven, and of course the bride's brother Rob Ryden on table four. <laughs> now I can introduce myself, for all of you who don't know me, my name's Gary, I'm 25 years old, <laughs> and I'm an underwear model for Calvin Klein. <laughs> a bit rude, you laughing. 
<laughs> True story. I'm also Solomon's mentor, therapist, wingman, and good friend for the last 18 years or so. A long 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say I'm sincerely honoured to be your uh, runner-up as a best man, the second best man, <laughs> don't know what happened on the first one, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be your last. <laughs> I don't know why you all think so. <laughs> I think everyone can agree today, Kate, you look absolutely amazing. Thank you. And we can also agree that Simon will hunt you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming, uh, especially Simon's dad. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been a wedding today. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't actually know that yeah. <laughs> Give you a minute. Settle guys. Right, so I've got a job to do today, which I've been really looking forward to. And that's to stand up here for the next ten minutes or so. Ten minutes thirty, because I'm going and have a drink over there. And rip the absolute hold on, Kate told me not to swear. Out of Simon. Yeah. So I first met Simon about eighteen years ago. And it was in uh, I don't know if you know Felton at all, it's it's a pretty posh, well to do area. <laughs> A lot of the drinking establishments are very fine, posh. <laughs> I have no idea why you're laughing. <laughs> so I've met him in one of the finer establishments of Felton. Felton. <laughs> Felt ham. <laughs> and my first opinion of him, to be honest, was uh, who's the lanky feminine guy in the corner? <laughs> And to be fair, he didn't have much competition with the girls in Felton. <laughs> That's better looking at them. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> we clicked straight away. Uh, we were both really funny characters. <laughs> me comically funny. And if you saw him back then, he was very funny looking. <laughs> And I thought, you know what, this, this is an absolute top bloke. I was always going to get on with him. He actually offered me a lift home that night after just meeting him. I just didn't know it was going to be in a Tesco's trolley. <laughs> and I was only going to make it as far as the curb. <laughs> and I actually got quite injured in that capture. <laughs> I've literally got so many stories and memories, but I'll stick to the ones which are safe to say today. Thank you. Because uh, I cannot see him go for a third marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Kate told me not to mention the first marriage. <laughs> and clearly I'm not going to. <laughs> That's it, I swear to God, no That's one. Right. Can <laughs> it's you. <laughs> so Simon's always been a good friend, uh, always helped me out. I remember the one time I had, and this was an absolute stunning Vauxhall Nova, that we shaped the aerial into a love heart. <laughs> we were cool. And for months he helped me push start that Vauxhall Nova. <laughs> I actually didn't know, and I really didn't know this, that only two weeks ago he found out in the Chinese with Kev that that car always started with the key perfectly fine. 
and it was a wind up, and I thought he knew, but <laughs> I didn't. Best bit so far. I was pushing this thing all the time. It's like get it out. It's like go back for the trolley. Go back for the trolley. <laughs> So to give you an idea of how wrong it can go, and it does go very wrong when me and Simon have a drink, um, I remember a couple of holidays we went on, Magaluf, the first one, with all the boys, hey. uh, which provided a lot of idiot abroad memories. <laughs> Firstly, Magaluf, yeah, with uh, me and Simon was drunk pretty much from the minute we got there. And not long after that, We'd, uh, we got roped into spending literally all of my money, <laughs> 500 euros worth of excursions, which left me completely broke for the next two weeks in Magaluf. I was the worst looky looky man in Magaluf. <laughs> The second, I've got to tell you about the second holiday, Cavos. So Cavos was for me, me, Simon, and a couple of other friends who are not here today. And we had literally arrived in Cavos, and uh, we, we threw the bags in, usual stuff, get out to the ho get out the hotel, get down to the strip. And within an hour of being there, we had managed to get ourselves thrown out of a sex shop by an angry Greek man with a taser gun, ready to taser Simon. <laughs> But that really weren't the funny bit. As he was thrown out of the shop and I was a few yards behind, I could see him struggling to walk straight. And I could also see a moped coming up the road that was struggling to ride straight. And of course, this provided me of an absolute diamond of a memory. He got run over. I could see it coming for absolute yards and yards. I just didn't have the heart to tell him. I, I, think, I, was, I think I was laughing before that moped hit him. Well, I could go on all day with these uh, the funny stories and stuff. I think um, we'd all like to crack on and get back to partying. So uh, it's basically what our friendship was. We, we've been full of laughter, and we, we pretty are much. If I could say idiot, so I'm, I'm going to call myself an idiot. We, we get drunk and we have a right laugh, and that's been our friendship the whole way through. Uh, he's a special friend in more ways than one. <laughs> in the undateable way. <laughs> and I am severely privileged to be here today as the best man, and uh, I'm proud of both what they've both achieved, which has been so much so soon so quickly and uh and with that i'd like everybody to stand up and raise your glasses to the lovely couple kate and simon let's party <laughs> There you go, I am the best man. Precisely what I plan to do And you know one of these days When I get my money right Buy you everything and show you All the finer things in life Will forever be enough So there ain't no need to rush But one day I won't be able To ask you loud enough I'll say well Can me 
me feel like this Baby, I don't never plan to find out The more I look, the more I find the reasons why You're the love of my life You know one of these days When I get my money right Buy you everything and show you All the finer things in life We'll forever be in love So there ain't no need to rush But one day I won't be able to ask you loud enough I'll say well Same way too. 
hands, please give it up for Kate and Simon and Mr. and Mrs. Baby! We're having a hold down, you hoes down Don't let me pull my hose out Cause it's big, long, pink, strong I've been known the time slack all night long Grab my hand, play this song DJ save my life, come on Leave your fear back off the wall Free your feet and pussy pop If you don't have a pussy pop A cock into a bullseye To a bullseye Yeah, yeah And we danced oh, And we cried oh, And we laughed oh, And had a really Let's have a blast And remember this moment for the rest of I our lives I am not going to stand on the wall I will dance, I will dance I will break that ass off And I see you in the corner Corner looking so small Doing the robot like if I died tonight At least I went hard I will not, I will not Give a damn who watches me I will live, I will live Liberate the thoughts in me I will be the disco ball freak And give my all to whatever girl's booty I'm freaking on, I'm not skeeting Nah, it's just freaking hot Me I swear that I will mean it I say will you Day when I, I say, Will you 